It's still there, far from the bright lights of the city in central Wyoming. It's the Teapot Dome, the Naval Petroleum Reserve. Oil set aside to guarantee that American warships would have enough fuel to propel them across the oceans in time of war. Its biggest impact, however, would be a scandal. Teapot Dome came to symbolize America's greatest period of corruption and transformation, the Roaring Twenties. The image of 19th century America was the pioneer family, the poor rural black, the farmer, the cowboy, and the genteel urban dweller. 20 years into the 20th century, these images vanished, replaced by the car, the industrial worker, the flapper, the speakeasy, the black jazz musician, and the gangster. The old culture emphasized production, the new emphasized consumption. The old extolled character, the new led by the motion picture industry, created a culture of personality. Science replaced religion as a guide to truth. Leisure and pleasure became more valued than hard work and self-denial. The new mass culture, intolerant of the great plurality that marked 19th century America, gave rise to a resurgent Ku Klux Klan. The KKK moved out of the South, targeting blacks, immigrants, Catholics, and Jews. In the 20s, the Republican slogan, a return to normalcy, replaced Roosevelt's and Wilson's idealism. The Republican administrations of Harding, Coolidge, and Hoover took a hands-off approach with regard to business. Coolidge said, the business of America is business. The Roaring Twenties became the decade of greed. Corruption filtered down into business, sports, the law, and the social fabric of the nation. The presidency was not exempt. Harding's administration became mired in corruption almost from the beginning. The most spectacular, the Teapot Dome scandal, came to light in 1923. In 1921, Secretary of the Interior Albert Fall leased the government oil reserves at Elk Hill, California to a private oil company headed by Edward L. Duhaney and the Teapot Dome Reserves to Harry F. Sinclair. Two years later, Senate investigations disclosed that Duhaney and Sinclair bribed Fall with hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash, bonds, and even a herd of cattle. Fall would become the first cabinet member to go to jail. On August 2, 1923, the good-natured Harding, beset by the problems of corruption, became the sixth president to die in office. The presidential scandal typified by the Teapot Dome would repeat itself will be sworn in as president. Watergate in 1974, in Iran-Contra in 1987. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. And the Monica Lewinsky affair in 1998.